your wipers are not doing what they're supposed to, this is how you fix it. What's going on guys, Hoagie 1685 back here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change your uh, wiper switch or the multifunction switch in your third gen Dodge Ram. Um, as you've seen, my wiper stopped working and uh, you can't have that in winter, right? So we're going to show you how to fix it. Um, I highly recommend from experience to get uh, the OEM switch. Um, it's really, it was only 177 bucks plus tax in Canada here. Um, but you can't go around with OEM for, for electronic stuff like that switches. So we're going to show you how to change it out. And uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, number one thing guys, this job is super easy and you can do it in like definitely less than 10 minutes. You do not need to remove the steering wheel, so don't worry about that. First thing you wanna do is uh, make sure your steering wheel is turned from the top is at nine o'clock position so you can get out the screws. And all you need for the job is straight slot screwdriver, uh, T20 Torx, and you're gonna need this long shank like a normal Torx screwdriver because the screws are up in the, in the, on the bottom of the column here, they're up in there a bit, so you gotta have a T20 Torx screwdriver. And then you just need a Phillips, and that's it for the job, super easy. So we'll, we'll get out of here. So super easy, two Torx screws right here. This one is the silver screw, and this one's black. So this silver one has regular threads on it, uh, like a fine thread, so that needs to, you gotta make sure you put that back in that hole. And this one's like the coarse screw uh, thread. So those two there. And then there's uh, one for the um, tilt right there and one right there. So let's get those out. Okay, guys. So once you get the column off, here's the three uh, Phillips screws. One there, one there, and one there. So we'll peel those off. Okay guys, once Phillips screws are out, undo your electrical plug here, pull this red tab back. Pull her out, push down there. And once we got that done, you just stick a straight slot screwdriver in here and this little uh, gray tab is what holds it, what locks it in there. So just stick the screwdriver in there and this thing just pulls out, just like that. You don't need to remove the steering wheel. So we'll go ahead and grab our new OEM switch, slide her in there and do the reversal and we're done. Slide her in. It'll click in like that tab, plug in your electrical and do up your three Phillips screws and put the column back on, it's that simple. There you go guys, uh, simple uh, switch to change. Uh, hope you found it uh, informative. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.